So here we have, we're making salt brine today. We have our salt brine maker. This is a hundred gallon tank full of salt. Here is a hundred gallon tote full of salt. So what happens is the water source is coming in that through that black pipe, goes in here, goes into the pump, gets spit out of the pump, goes in here, sprays into the bottom of this big 100 gallon tank. Once it sprays into there, it mixes through the salt. It overflows, it has some overflow pipes here. Overflows into this big 500 gallon tank. Where it comes up. Mixes in. Mixes in here. There's a pipe down there under the water. That pipe comes out here, goes back in the pump and mixes, and it will circulate. And you have a lever here and a lever here in which you can measure the salinity level with a uh, hydrometer. You want the salinity to be 23.3% for proper salt brine mixture for melting snow and ice and you have water source coming in going in through the pump going in through the barrel of salt overflowing into the orange tank circulating in there coming back around pumping 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 Going back in, will continue to circulate until you reach your 23.3%, at which time you will drain this 500 gallons out. We'll pump through here, go through the green pipe, and into our big 3,000 gallon storage container. And that's how we make the salt brine. So in addition to the salt brine, we've had the salt into here. Pumps pump down there, salt in there, water comes up through there. Add more salt. Solar salt works well. Not a lot of trash in it. here today just mopping up the property at post storm cleanup after the cars are gone got a brine truck gonna come through and do some spraying uh, out here with dust there today should be around in the corner here in a second gotta see what a uh, sprayer looks like when it's working It's a 500 gallon tank, electric spray, GPS controlled. He's spraying out at like uh, 45 gallons an acre. It should be just enough, been really cold, like 10 degrees overnight, but it'll be in the 30s this afternoon. Um, pretty nice setup, we're really loving the brine. Uh, especially for this kind of thing, because you can kind of just blow through and uh, not leave granule product laying everywhere. It's kind of nice. He's probably gonna turn around up there and make another pass back through on the other side. We had snow, four inches maybe, everything got cleaned up and then the temperatures dropped to like eight degrees overnight. So we've been salting in the mornings and the afternoons so that everything melts and drips and then refreezes by five o'clock in the evening. So it's been uh, a lot of work, you know, two or three times a day, spot salting and you know, checking everything. Custom de-icing solutions, Industco, hard at work.